I remember when I was young, I have seen in, in, the, in the Tamil movies, they when they used to show Coimbatore district, they show beautiful greenery places. And most of the people, even now, they think the same scenario is there in Coimbatore. No, not at all. The water table has gone down very badly. I, I, I can show farmers, uh, you know, getting water from deep boreholes which are more than thousand feet down. So farmers, farmers in Coimbatore district, they were all, you know, they were all wanting to go or have some sort of change in practice in their in their farm land. So that's when we we, we thought we will step in, and we we have a lot of interviews with the farmers. We have interviews with the local panchayat heads, the village administrative officers. So by having talks and discussion with those people, we try to learn. Really, the farmer needs an opportunity for us to step in. One farmer' name is Musa uh, Supusami. See, his his farmland, if you visit, so bad land it was. High land, very less water. But with the training, what we gave them to grow the trees with limited water to save the moisture, he did all. One would never believe that that land was a complete wasteland about four years back. You go there, you will find multiple tree species like Miliadibia, the Malabar neem, tea, and and, and few more species. It, it it's a surprise for the forest department also. It's a surprise for the local people also to see how did this person change. I will say each year about 40 to 50 farmers are getting benefited in Coimbatore alone. In alone, direct farmers I will say, and indirect farmers. When I say indirect farmers, they are all they are all landless farmers who don't have land to work on. So those people will get opportunity to work in this program. We don't want farmers to stop practicing farming because that will be another big problem. So they should do farming. At the same time, they should have some change in practice which would give them some additional benefit in the long run. So that's how we thought agroforestry would be a very good thing because the, the, the trees not only cools the atmosphere, it also replenishes the groundwater, the refills the groundwater. The main thing what we need to do is we need to refill the groundwater for the future generation. The last uh, four years, I, I'll say more than 300 or 400 employees have participated in the tree planting activity. So that is another thing wherein the, the, the employee get an opportunity to learn the sustainability uh, activity of the organization.